the Turing Hubble phone takes this dream to an all-new level. The company claims that the Turing Hubble phone will launch in 2020 with a dual Snapdragon 855 chipset, a chipset not yet announced. The company also claims that the phone will have a Snapdragon X55G modem, yet another mythical hardware unicorn. TSI also claims the phone will be sold to those still dinking radiator water in 2020 for a mediocre price of $2,749. Turing claims that the Hubble phone will have three operating systems as well, because why wouldn't it? The first will be Android P, apparently still the latest in 2020, and Turing Keplerian OS which will be in the top part of the phone. The lower part or main deck will get a combination of the two OS in the top deck but also Sailfish 3 OS. The company also claims that the phone will have a 5x 12 megapixel sensor camera setup, two on the front of the top deck, one on the rear of the top deck and two on the rear of the bottom deck aka the main deck. Both decks will also have dual SIM card slots each, hence the phone will handle four SIM cards simultaneously. The Hubble phone also has a total of three AMOLED capacitive touchscreen displays. A 5.44 inch along with a 5.41 inch on the top deck and a 11.81 inch one on the main deck which as you see will fold over all the electronics. The dual SD855 chipsets, each deck gets their own, with 8x 2.96 GHz on the clock. The lower deck gets the SDX55G modem. Hubble phone includes an artificial reality messaging application which allows users to send 3D animated messages projected into the recipient's immediate physical surroundings. Honestly it doesn't get any more ridiculous at this point. At least the company is not claiming a ridiculous 64GB of RAM, and endless battery via a non-available technology. Since they already claimed those with the Cadenza and the Shacon. The Hubble phone will have a paltry 8GB of RAM in each deck with 256GB for each deck too. The battery will be a seemingly doable 2800mAh in the upper deck and 3300mAh in the main deck.